Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we have got our three groups. Feel free to choose from either group one, which is this beautiful howlite. I think this is howlite stone. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll look it up in the editing and I'll write something on the screen. But that's group one. And group two is this beautiful pink heart. I have no idea what this stone is or what it could be, but it's very pretty <laughs> and it's a heart. And group three is this green. Now I'm not too sure what this is. Again, if I do some Google searching, I will find out. I had ordered this a very long time ago. I ordered it maybe two, three years ago and it arrived here. Again, this is one of the objects I was hoping that would arrive in Sydney. But anyway, it came here. So feel free to choose from group one, group two, group three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one or this beautiful halite crystal, which kind of looks like the moon and the moon is a bit of a secretive energy you know when you have a full moon if it's a full moon which this would be it's very round then there's a lot of moonlight you know maybe some secrets are being revealed that's one possible meaning that we could take from this let's pick a couple of cards and just see what is going on for you at this time now looking at the decks I have chosen and I'm just kind of realizing I haven't got too many decks here in front of me I want to pick another one actually hold on a moment I'll come back all right sorry about that group one <laughs> I had to go and get a couple of oracle decks I do have all the cards that I want to use today but as I sat down I looked for the oracle decks and I'm like I don't have any oracle decks here so why don't we start with those and as with any of my readings guys take the messages that empower you take the messages that feel good if there's something you need to hear at this time take that on board and discard anything that doesn't resonate discard what doesn't work discard you know you've got it's very powerful there's a lot of things you can discard right you can discard you know you there's just you're very powerful and look at that we've got the meditation card pop up i should have shuffled that on camera but i didn't all right let's see what's in here and then i do want to draw an archetype deck this is a lot of fun and this is a really good card deck to draw from when say for example we're looking at you and another person but why don't we just look at you what what archetype is going to come forward and this could be an archetype maybe what you need to be more of at this time or we'll see we'll see what comes through this this reading so we'll start with this whoa thief okay light attribute sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen wow so something about inherent wealth that no one can take you away from you right no one can steal your identity anyone's been trying to do that okay shadow attributes stealing money creative ideas affection or other powers you think you lack okay right very interesting depiction there as well okay wonders yes what do we have here mountain and you know that theme of mystery that i get from the stone is really coming through all of these cards so far we also have the card of meditation this flicked out as i shuffled for you why don't i shuffle that deck on camera as well so that you can see uh, so that you can see me shuffle right <laughs> 
retreat. Wow, okay, well, I mean, that's kind of, that's this deck saying, I meant what I said the first time. You know, yeah, there's quite a message here of you retreat, retreating, of you going within at this time. Okay, these two really are virtually the same card there. So let's confirm with a bit of tarot and just see. We'll take all of these upright. Interesting that we've got the two of swords at the bottom here. Interesting. Let's see what's coming through. And I really do think this thief card is something about I've got that song coming into my head. Is it Gershwin? They can't take that away from me or from you. They can't take that away. No, they can't take that away from me. Yeah, I think it's me. Mm. Okay. Let's confirm that. Why did the thief card come up? Let's shuffle a bit more. <laughs> I feel like I'm not shuffling enough. Okay. Wow, the hanged man. All right. Why did the wonders card show up? Let's take one for each of these. Why did mountain show up? And why are you being asked to retreat? To have some, you know, moon, sort of silent, quiet, time alone, time to rest. What's that about? Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. Wonders. Gosh, again. This is a doubling up here. This is, this is, and look at him. He, he is, he, he's taking something that's not his. This is a thief card, seven of swords. Interesting. You're dealing with some really hidden energies here. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio or someone who's got significant Scorpio in their chart. Mountain. Four of Cups. Okay. And this retreat section, King of Cups. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. I mean, th this, these are your best energies right here. King of Cups as well, right? So this is you in your best energies. At this time, the best thing for you to do is really to carve out some time alone, to have a retreat, to be on your own. Now, if we're taking a look at this, I mean, it could be that you are dealing with, a, um, yeah, I'm getting in my mind a difficult character. Let's take one more archetype card. Seven of Swords. We'll get a clarifier on the Seven of Swords. I want one more archetype card. Oops. Okay, let's shuffle quite a bit. <laughs> See what's going on. Put that back. <laughs> Martyr. Is this you? I'm now getting a sense this is you. I don't think this is someone you're dealing with. I think you're not being true to yourself. I think that's what's going on. And because of that, Everything is stalled, is, is what I'm seeing here. There's something where you're not being true to yourself. Let's read this. So light attribute of the martyr. It says learning the transcendent and, hang on, the transcend, the transcendent. My goodness, I can't read today. Apologies, everyone. Learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Right, when it's not going well, addiction to self-pity. Okay. I don't think 
you're a thief or that you're stealing something. I don't think that at all. What, what the reason I think these things have come up is like, okay, you're, you're cheating the world somehow of the greatness that is you. It's that kind of concept, right? That, that's the kind of thing that I'm getting here. It feels like you're cheating the world of the, the greatness within. Let's see, I'm going to get a clarifier on this. I want to see why that has appeared, the Seven of Swords. You're, yeah, you're cheating the world of the greatness that is you. So by you not being your authentic self or speaking up, saying what's important to you, it then becomes that you're maybe hiding something or let's have a look here. Yeah, King of Rods. This is the King of Wands. This is the, the creative king. This is the king who, he, look at him, he's confident. We see his face. We don't see this guy's face. We don't see this guy's face at all. And he's kind of got his back turned, whereas he is ready. He's ready for life. He's ready for action. He wants to get on with it. He's holding a vision as well for what he wants. So that's the other thing. Sometimes we are in places which you might be where you just, you, for various reasons, you can't act. Okay, and that's this mountain card here and that's this four of cups. You're possibly stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's little room for maneuver at this time. That type of situation, yeah, it is boring, right? This archetype is here in you, this King of Rods. You've got this, you've got this fully formed, ready being within, who's, who's ready to create, who's ready to go, and yet you're being asked to rest. Okay, so let's, I want to get one more here. We'll get one more here as well. And then we'll get some quotes. I don't have a quote jar, but I've got a couple of quote decks. So we're okay. Let's see, one here, and we'll take one here as well. Yeah, we'll take that. All right, let's see what's going on. Page of Rods. Okay. It's kind of like about as much as you could do right now in this rock and a hard place situation is it's like the lighting of a match. You can begin something in a small way at this time, it feels like. But you're not in a raging fire stage just yet, but it will grow. The more you um, kind of become your authentic self, speak up, be you, don't be compromised by other people and what they say or how your life looks to them or any of that, right? Oh, look at that, the Queen of Cups. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Yeah, the counterparts, look at that. So it's kind of like when you relax, everything you want, everything you dream of will click into place. That is what I'm seeing. So you need to relax. Maybe you've been overworking. Maybe you, and there's something about, maybe you think, maybe you've been doing backflips because you think people want a certain persona or they want a certain thing or, and they probably don't. They probably just want you well rested, right? It's, it, maybe you're doing too much. I think that is also what's going on here. I think you're overworking, you're doing too much, you're burning the candle at both ends possibly, right? And this is, all this here is go a bit slower, take it easy, relax, allow, allow it to come in, allow the universe to work with you. You'll be guided, you'll be shown what to do, okay? So it's not like you're just gonna be left in the dark and you won't know what to do, no, you'll, you'll be shown. Let's get a quote from here and let's get a quote from this other deck that I've got as well. So we'll see what quote comes through 
here. Okay, that one's sticking out. And we'll take one from here as well. And we can just see that the camera is about to cut out. Oh, there we go. All right, look at that quote. Fantastic, this is a good one. There is more to life than simply increasing its speed. Mahatma Gandhi, yeah, it, there's, it's like you're, you're, maybe you're overworking, overburning. I think we talked about that, didn't we? So something about you slowing down, going slow, allowing, you know, get into your feminine energy. Okay, Queen of Cups has made an appearance here. Your feminine side, feminine energy is more about allowing, less about doing. Okay, it's more about feeling, just allowing the feelings to flow. That's all you have to do at this time, right? So that's brilliant. Glad that turned up. <laughs> what do we have in here? Four of Pentacles. Okay, progress is not achieved by luck or accident, but by working on yourself daily. Epictetus. Yeah, Sun in Capricorn. That's really nice. And this is saying that, yeah, it's, it's kind of the inner work that you need to do, not this outer work. Maybe some of this is image type stuff. Maybe you're doing something to impress or something like that, but it, it, it feels like too much and it's probably unnecessary. And it feels like what you need to do is go within more, go within. I know that's a really abstract kind of a phrase, Oh, the camera's not cutting out. Cool. All oh, right, because I haven't said it to... Anyway. Um, that's good, though. We can keep going here. Yeah, I just feel like at this time... It's also Four of Pentacles. So you're holding on to some old way of being. And the new way, where you're probably not doing much, probably looks and feels scary, right? Feminine energy, yeah, to someone who's maybe been a doer their whole life, feminine energy is like, what, well, you want me to sit and do nothing? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> but when I've studied Chuck Spezzano and he explains when you're engaging more of your feminine energy, you will actually receive more reward as well. Okay? It's time for you, group number one, to receive more rewards. Okay? I think you've been working too hard for too long. So that is the reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it, Group 1. Let me know in the comments below if there were any messages in here that were right for you. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, Group Number 2. If you chose Group Number 2 or this very beautiful pink heart, look at that. So pretty. By the way, guys, I have just turned off the lamp. I had a lamp on for group number one. I've turned that off because, yeah, what a day I've had. I'll tell you about my day as I shuffle. It has been a very, very, very busy day. <laughs> I launched the monthly and there was some massive technical problem and half the sound was gone. And so then I had to, like, re... I don't know, upload the whole thing, like make the video again and do everything again. So I've just finished that. And what else have I been doing? There is so much to getting a place up and running again after you've been away for so long. I did not realize how much work there would be <laughs> for me to do. And if you booked in for readings, don't you worry, because that is going brilliantly that's going really really well but it's just like on the weekends I'm not really getting much of a weekend uh, anymore because there's like cleaning and although I think hopefully fingers crossed is going to be the last of the cleaning weekends maybe for a little while although because of all these cupboards and oh it's just so, <laughs> I think when I think about it it's like there's this mountain of work in front of me I've got so much to do but yeah, don't worry, if you booked in for reading, that is, oh, that, that's a lot, you know, I'm enjoying that more here because it is very quiet during the days and uh, yeah, it's, that's, that's going really nicely. So if you're booked in, let's, no, let's shuffle again. If you're booked in, you have booked at a good time. 
All right, let's see what's going on. So now in group one, we were just looking at, because I know we've got, this is the archetypes deck, and this is brilliant for like, if you want to look at you and somebody, but let's just look at you today. Let's just see what's going on. And yeah, we'll just, just see what's, what's here. Oh, how nice artist. I love it. Let's have a look. Light attributes expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses. Yes, it's like you're bringing heaven here. Inspiring others to see life symbolically. How wonderful. Because there's something freeing in that, isn't there? When you see life symbolically, it's kind of like life is less real, maybe. And then maybe the hardships are less real, too. Now, shadow attributes. We've got using talent as an excuse to mistreat others, okay? Posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. Right, and I'm sure there are other shadow type attributes as well, but, okay. Oh, how wonderful, thriving, yes, I love it. And you've got this pink color. Isn't that amazing? Wow, a pink, this kind of very soft pink is the higher heart. But this can be this can be the first chakra as well, with the reddish sort of a pink, uh, with the higher heart there. So that's wonderful, thriving. Wow, standing tall. You know, the giraffe is a very tall creature. Mm, that's wonderful. Okay, details, details. Yes, that. Oh gosh, this feels like something to do with me. This is my life. <laughs> Details, details, yeah. And that, you know, I think some artists, that, that's the fun of art, isn't it? Getting, getting deep into the details. And that's very much a Mercury-Venus combination in a chart. Mercury, right? Details, details. Mercury likes to go really fine. So does Venus as well. Also, they've got very tight orbits, these two planets. Ooh, truth and integrity. Yes, and I mean, artists are all about the truth, aren't they? Truth, God, love, light, universe, all these words are quite interchangeable. Well, let's just shuffle around and see what's going on. We'll get perhaps one card for each and then maybe a clarifier for each. Actually, I don't think I used the Vedic Astrology deck in the last reading. I have it here. So maybe we can clarify with the Vedic Astrology deck. Just be really quick here. That one's popping out. All right, let's see what we've got. So the artist we have, wow, the death card. Okay, that is interesting. Mm. I just had this thought about it could be some old vision that you have or had. Maybe something needs to needs to complete. You're assessing, yeah. You're assessing things right now. It's like that. So, okay, let's put a pause on that concept of. So, 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 I, I, was, I was thinking, there's some vision that perhaps you need to. Yeah, no, it does keep coming into my head. It's something about some vision maybe that you had in the past that you wanted to create or do. It's like maybe that isn't the thing, but there's something better, okay? So there's never any loss because I do believe, I, I've got quite a firm belief on this, and it might just be because I have this belief that this is what happens, but I always think that if things don't work out, it's replaced with something better. And I'll give you a very, very simple example of this. I was thinking about this just the other day. This, this was maybe, I don't know how many years ago, a long time ago. My dad gave me a, it was like a checkered sort of a scarf, and I really liked it, but, and I think I was in my 20s. And because I was in my 20s and I was young and not very wise and all that, and, and I always thought, oh, my parents are going to live forever and, you know, you take stuff for granted. And I think I gave it away. I gave that scarf away and I just thought, no, I'll just give it away, you know. And then, you know, he leaves the earth and then I badly regretted letting go of that scarf. 
and it was pretty incredible because my brother he went traveling and he went to the top of some mountain anywhere there was a shop there and he ended up buying this checkered scarf and he gave it to me and it was much it was like the one my dad gave me but it's actually much nicer and that is something that's always stuck with me to show me that it's okay to let things go you know if, so if there's a vision or if there's something that maybe you have wanted to create or you've wanted to do or it's okay to let that let that thing go and you know I've, I've come back to my apartment and there are all these half finished art type projects I used to make organite and I used to and I'm kind of looking at all these boxes going well am I ever going to make that stuff again and I don't think so and I'm in this position where I'm like well do I let that stuff go or do I keep it because I might make that stuff one day and I think to myself today wouldn't it be so nice if I just got rid of those boxes because maybe something new and better is going to come in interesting really really interesting reading here guys wow nine of pentacles yes look at that something better coming in so definitely don't think if there's something you have to let go of if there's an unfinished project or maybe you wanted to create something or it, it was your dream to do xyz or you can let it go if you're meant to do it you'll do it and look at that when it comes around to you doing that you're going to have all the abundance and it will be easier there's something about something coming back around and it's better definitely truth and integrity oh we had this on the bottom of the deck for the last reading the two of swords you're unsure what to do you're unsure it's kind of like me with these boxes I'm unsure like doing here do I get rid of them do I keep them I haven't decided yet interesting let's get a clarify on each one of these and we use the Vedic astrology deck to do that very interesting reading guys I feel like I want to put all of these up a little bit how are we doing on space I think we're good but you're in a phase of assessing definitely and yeah you're not sure what to do I like the example with the scarf because it's not like a relationship like with a relationship that's hard to let that go because you think oh I'm ever going to meet someone again you know that that's not easy to let go of relationships that's why for me the scarf example is so good because it's something material it's something physical that and it's factual and yet and when when my brother gave it to me and I was just I just knew that my dad was kind of working through him and I was so happy and I told him and and he felt yeah it he said that it, he wasn't planning on buying me anything on his side it was very weird too so that story has always stuck with me because I know where that scarf came from and I know it was my dad's way of sort of saying hey you don't have to feel bad that you know you got rid of that um, right let's just go quickly and take Oh, that one wants to be here. That's jumping. Okay, let's see what comes. And then we'll take a quote from the quote decks I have. There's no jar at the moment. That's how busy I've been. Wow, Mars in the 12th house. Okay, let's have a look at this. What does it say here? Mars in the 12th house constantly travels for work, frustrations with marriage or career may become lazy shops a lot acquires debt okay yeah um let's have a think here debt because the yeah, idea is a scorpio type death debt hmm scorpio type energy mars in the 12th and i'm getting something about 
it's interesting because that, that, that's an ending. But for some reason, I am looking at this in terms of a beginning. How odd, Mars in the 12th house as a beginning. Because Mars is a planet of action. It's also a planet of stopping as well, but I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing, and with Mars, I always think about the restlessness in the spiritual domain. It's like there's something, it's like this, what's beginning is, yeah, it, it, it's you taking steps in your spiritual career. Okay, so maybe you were an artist before. Maybe art was your thing before. But it's like maybe your need, your light worker skills, gifts, your art, your artistic skills and gifts are needed to heal the planet, right? I think it's that kind of thing. So it's like action does need to be taken. Jupiter in the sixth, nice. We've got here courageous, scholarly, beautiful spouse, feared by enemies, excels in service, follows the law. If afflicted, can cause illness and or death. All right, we've got the death message twice. Interesting. Yeah, Jupiter here can expand debt. That is true. Also, Jupiter in this place, I do tend to think if you've got any health issues, you want to be on top of those. Uh, at this time because Jupiter in the sixth is not ideal for health it can if you've got a health problem it can expand it being in this position but I feel like this is a green light for the new path okay and the new path feels like your light worker path where you will use your artistic gifts and skills Maybe you wanted to be a singer before, but it's like maybe the, that musicality is going to be used in a different way in service, healing, helping, you know, doing, doing, your, doing your thing. All right, so we've got this beautiful nine of pentacles here. Details, details, and ooh, Saturn in the seventh house excels as a merchant yeah this is you working as a, a contractor as a business person as a self-employed person resides abroad gains distinction internationally delayed marriage to older partner disciplined hardworking, self-critical yes good card here again I just feel this is another green light for for business service right business seventh house service sixth house and mars in a spiritual place there which is taking action on your spiritual path on your spiritual light worker path i would say more specifically or turning your art into something that where you're going to heal and help others or inspire others i definitely see you doing that all right, indecision, and we had that with truth and integrity. Ooh, Jupiter in the 11th house, you got all outer planets. They all want this to be real. They all want to materialize this. Okay, so this is very exciting. All the outer planets, all the big, big shot planets here, right? So we've got Jupiter in the 11th house, excels in finance, entrepreneur, brilliant intellect, loves music. Yes, music, artist, there's something, yeah. Uh, rich, lives long, famous, courageous, teaches children beautifully. Again, more green lights on your path as a light worker, you doing you, right? You doing your business, your profession, what it is that you are passionate about. So we're going to draw one from here. We're going to get a quote from here and we get a quote from the Stoic Wisdom Tarot as well. What's this? If we all did the things we are really capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Thomas A. Edison. I love that. That's really wonderful. And I think that the fact that all outer planets are here, it's kind of saying materialize this, make this happen, bring it into the 3D world. The time is now, 
you know and that's one of the reasons why I love doing pick a card because here we do look at the now moment being an astrologer we're looking at past we're looking at future you know we're all in all these concepts but your business is going to be made in the now moment so and that's where all the coaching and the guidance and the wisdom that's where all of that's really important so let's take a look at one more quote stoic wisdom tarot let's see what comes from here and then we will wrap up and i didn't shoot this in high d resolution whatever i hope i don't know i think it should look okay we'll see oh, i'm still finding my feet everyone by the way i'm not, probably not going to do this weekly it might be a bi-weekly thing again I'll, I'll see how i go all right wheel of fortune Ooh, wheel of fortune accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny for what could more aptly fit your needs marcus aurelius Fixed signs. Interesting. Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern. I think everything you need to do this, to do this path that wants to materialize, that's going to be given to you. You've just got to trust. And I know that's very hard to do. Uh, yeah, I completely understand that. It's not easy to trust that everything's just going to be there, but... I've got tiny little examples and that scarf one is one of them. It's like, you know, if it's meant for you, it's, it's coming in, you know. And the resources to do what you need, that's definitely going to come in. Oh my goodness, that's totally coming in. Look at that. You've got Saturn in the seventh. You've got this. You know, I mean, that just can't be better. This is, this is big confirmation that, you know, forms, contracts, all of that stuff, you'll figure that out. The money that's needed, you'll get that. And look at that. You'll have, you'll have this incredible power behind you as well. Saturn in the seventh. Great Digbala. He's strong here. Wonderful reading, group number two. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three or this beautiful green crystal, this could be green aventurine or something, aventurine, aventurine, I'm not sure. I can't remember what I ordered either. I'll go back through the info and see if I can find out. Anyway, how about we shuffle some cards, shuffle some energies, see what comes through. And guys, as always, make sure you take on the messages that are positive and empowering and that's something that you need and discard anything that doesn't suit you, okay? And also remember, there are a lot of, there's so many great tarot readers out there. You can watch other tarot readers. Uh, the other thing is that if tarot isn't, there's a limit. <laughs> There's a limit on what tarot can do, right? So if you're not getting anything from these readings, guys, try a completely different modality. Try Reiki. Try homeopathy. Try, you know, working with a, a, a counselor, a traditional therapist, psychologist, something like that. We did have last week someone who was i think very unhappy with group three they deleted their comments so that's fine but i was going to do a bit of a message at the start but then i didn't i didn't particularly want to <laughs> but, but you know yeah it's a it's an interesting thing all this i think the best thing that i'm able to do is just say take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't and equally if it's really not the thing then try it. There are millions of tarot readers out there, as I say, and there's lots of modalities with which you can improve your life and make a real change, all right? So I know that that person wrote very mean comment. I think, you know, hurt people hurt people, right? I get it. But uh, yeah, you know, it's, I don't know if that person's has come back, but well, it's okay. Um, Anyway, let's see. Let's see what we've got here on the table for group number three. With this, this is just beautiful, isn't it? All right, let's <laughs> let's see what we've got. Ooh, warrior, 
Nice. What does this say? Light attributes, strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. Heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego. Cool. Shadow attributes, trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. Indifference to the suffering inflicted on others. Okay. Interesting. Well, you are some kind of a spiritual warrior. Group number three. Let's see what else you've got here. Taking risks. Amazing. Great imagery there. Right. Rock bottom. And you know, I mean, the spiritual warrior... <laughs> knows this place right then the spiritual warrior has been there helps others get out of here so yeah i think this one definitely makes sense here but taking risks is very interesting we'll explore into that a bit more Ooh, dreams nice what do you dream of group number three and it feels like this card works with this because yeah i mean you have to take a risk in order to achieve your dream don't you you got to put yourself out there and that's not easy to do i totally understand that okay let's take a look with tarot and see what's going on with each one of these Oh, I should shuffle on camera. <laughs> All right, we'll just go really quickly. Oh, there we go. We'll take it. What else have we got here? And, oh, wants to be here. Let's take it. Oh, this guy, look at him, Knight of Swords. He's got blonde hair and everything and a moustache. Look at that. Let's check him out. Wow. He's tough looking. We've got that warrior card as well, yeah. Knight of Swords. He wants to do the job, doesn't he? Look at his eyes. Right, okay. What's going on? Interesting that we saw that first as well. Seven of Cups. I heard someone recently interpret this card as lies. Isn't that interesting? I've never seen it in that way. Hmm. I tend to see it as illusions. That each cup, it's offering some glamorous, fantastic thing, but it's all an illusion. And the world is like that. You know, you go to shops and you go to nice restaurants and all that. And I mean, that's all great. I'm not saying that's bad. But, <laughs> but the joy from that is short-lived sometimes, isn't it? Not always, but sometimes. the fool right new journey taking risks yes and the fool is usually depicted as almost about to walk off a cliff i'm pretty sure but this one is not quite like that it feels grounded and sensible hmm. okay oh wow rock bottom gets this nine of cups that's interesting. It's almost like you're happy when it's just you and the world, you know? And it's like, you'll, you'll even take rock bottom. It's like, there's like, there's like a fearlessness when it's you and the world. It's like, that's all you need kind of thing. That's quite cool. And it's like you're happy with reality. It's like, don't give me an illusion. I want what's real. I want the truth. But it feels like maybe this new journey that you need to... But he's there. That's... Okay, we, we need to check this out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Because I was going to say, it's, like, it's almost like this new journey that you need to go on. Maybe, 
maybe you're meant to enjoy a bit of the world and a bit of fine dining and this and that and I don't know but then he's appeared here with the dreams hmm and I'd imagine he's a realist, the Knight of Swords. He's also, he looks like a contractor or something. Like, you tell me what to do and I'll do it. <laughs> I'll get it done. It's like, yeah, I'll do a swift, clean job. I'll get the job done. All right, let's take, let's take one of these for each. Because this is really interesting. What is the new... Let's just do that much. Let's just see what's here. What, what, what's the new journey? You're taking risks for what? Wow, you have to walk away. Gosh, plot twist. Whoa, the King of Rods. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think maybe there is something you have to walk away from. But I actually, I don't feel like that's going to be hard for you. I think that, because you, you, you know all of this, you know how to do rock bottom, you're content when you're rock bottom, you're fine. Like, so what's your dream? What do you want? Because as I say, I don't think it's going to be hard for you to walk away from something that's maybe not right for you or... So what do you want then? What, what, what would make you happy? What would make you really happy, group three? Wow. Judgment and strength. Truth. I think truth makes you happy. Look at that. A knight of swords all about the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, and I mean, well, you're a warrior. So the, the nice, and I'm gonna say, like my brother uses this phrase all the time, frou-frou, I don't know what it means, but he's, <laughs> he's always saying, like the frou-frou stuff of life, right? The trinkets and the dinners and the whatever else. Like, you know not to be suckered in by that, is kind of what I'm getting. Because you know that the good feelings from that are short-lived. And we were saying that earlier. This could be in connection with like some kind of partner maybe that seems like, oh yeah, that'll be great, but then maybe it won't be, I don't know. Because what you want is the truth. You want swords, facts, no feelings. Isn't that interesting? Where your dreams are, it's like... Yeah, it's kind of like you're not wishing for feelings. You didn't get the cups. Come here. You got him. <laughs> right? So he wants truth. And I think you want to be strong. And I think you want to be judged. And maybe you want everybody to be judged by God's eyes. I don't think you want to do the judging. I don't think that. Because that's very unwise. And you've drawn this warrior card. And I think you're probably too wise to know that, yeah, you're probably wise enough to know that you don't want to do the judging, <laughs> right? Let's get uh, one of these pair. I've gone about this differently for every spread this time. I mean, group one didn't even get these. I just forgot they were there. Whoops, all right, let's take it. Moon in the fifth, happiness from children, acquires jewels and properties. Native is honest. Yeah, look at that, the honesty thing that's really coming through. Native is honest, noble, learned, spiritual, child may be famous, talented artist, abundant emotionally. Yes, native is honest, noble. I... I do think this goes with your dreams. Put that there. And we'll see what's this new path? What, what's, what's opening up? 
And do you know, I kind of want to ask, who do you want to be on who? No, who do you need to be on the new path? That'll be an interesting question. Let's see. Who do you need to be on this new path that's opening up? Because you're clearly being asked to take risks. There's a new path. Walk away from the old thing. That you know, forget about that. It's all right. So who are you? Who do you need to be on this new path? Let's see. And then we'll take a couple of. That one is kind of sticking out. Let's take it. <laughs> I didn't shuffle very much. I'm not much of a shuffler, am I? Whoa, you need to be a goddess. That's awesome. Okay. Wow. And it's like you need to be more in your feminine energy for the new path. Right? Because maybe, and maybe, especially if you're a lady watching this, I know we've got men and women who watch these equally but let's say you're a lady who's watching this maybe you have been quite in your masculine energy for like the longest time you've had to do it all on your own and you got this knight of swords here and you still you probably still in this mode you know but what you're going to need going forward is this so what does it say here light attribute the feminine expressed through wisdom wow nature life force and sensuality wow that's beautiful. Shadow attribute, exploitation of the female nature and form. Okay. So, well, you need to be a goddess going forward, <laughs> clearly. How wonderful. And if you're a man watching this and you would prefer the word God, put God in there. But it's like, it's like you, you're possibly, and it's like possibly you, you, the, Okay, the path that you, the new path that's opening up for you, you're being invited and called to be more otherworldly and less world, worldly, less 3D, right? So, yeah, I mean, that makes perfect sense here. And that's lovely. Goddess. Wow. And I think another thing about a goddess, I mean, I don't know too much about this archetype, but. Uh, I would say she probably like stuff comes to her kind of thing. She doesn't have to like run around town and <laughs> you know with her IKEA shopping trolley. <laughs> That's me. Anyway, I've got the hiking boots on and the shopping trolley is hitting the pavements, you know, because uh, I tell you what, I mentioned this in the monthly. I was saying how in Sydney because my mom's got a car and like now this is a life with no car I forgot about what that was like it's like oh yeah it's um it's different <laughs> no I love it because everything's very close I just see that's the thing with Sydney nothing is in walking distance there you really need a car whereas here everything is in walking distance I'm going to get my fitness back because I became I think I became a bit soft in Sydney I didn't no but I did go out I did exercise I did. All right, let's take a quote from here. We'll take one from, we'll do it in order. We'll do it like I've been doing for all the other readings. Take one from here and we'll take one from that other deck. Okay, so what's this? Is that one? Yes. Okay, it says, the world belongs to the energetic Ralph Waldo Emerson. Interesting. And I was just talking about shopping trolley and running around town and yeah it's true I mean you want energy but look I mean I think goddess probably she probably has loads of energy doesn't she she's probably well rested as I say guys I'm not too uh yeah look at that goddess archetype some people are really knowledgeable about this one I'm not so knowledgeable about it do you know Shiv Shakti right Shakti Shakti is just power and I saw some people doing Tantra, like the, you know, uh, this guy healing people. And he's so amazing at what he does. But he actually needs his daughter. His daughter helps him. She is a goddess completely that I've, I've seen with my own eyes. And when he is working on someone and he's healing them or fixing them or doing whatever, and he'll, he needs her and he needs her to like hold his hand or something. And what she's doing is she's actually just giving him power. It's, it's incredible to watch these uh, Tantra professionals do what they do. It's just, yeah, some of the most amazing things I've seen in these incredible people. 
and yeah that that young girl she's basically a goddess and when she touches her father's hand and he, it's like he's just getting electricity or something it's just incredible so yeah i think this goddess thing i think maybe the archetype the western archetype of this maybe has this connotation of a goddess does nothing or something but no i actually think goddess energy is is where the power is and where the energy is that we've got confirmation of that here amazing all right let's take one more and then we will wrap up i think i like shooting these on the not so high res thing because then it doesn't cut out i'm learning guys <laughs> i'm learning all the time all right what have we got here it's nine of swords whoa wasn't expecting that let not your mind run on what you lack as much as on what you have already marcus aurelius i mean this is a gratitude message and this is just saying that even though you might not feel equipped or like you have everything to even touch this path it's uh, getting a feeling that don't don't be put off by nine of swords there i don't think that's that's just I, I think indicative of maybe some anxiety or some worry or some thoughts you might have but i think just don't worry about that because everything you need for this new path ahead you'll be provided it'll be given to you things you don't know that you need will even be given to you right so don't be limited by your thoughts or your thinking group number three this has been an amazing reading i've enjoyed it so much thank you so much whoever chose this group and brought their beautiful energy here thank you so much let me know how you got on in the comments below the other thing is that yeah readings like this i'll probably just do them maybe every couple of weeks or just just when i can you know and um, i'm always doing my best every day guys there's always a lot going on for me so i want to thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you next time